Welcome to my channel, 8,000 miles away. 8,000 miles away. Basically to the Philippines, Thailand, or Southeast Asia. So, it's Friday afternoon, but earlier today, I got a call from an ex-girlfriend of mine. I call her, in my mind, little Nia Long, because she resembles her. Well, anyway, she connected me to a travel agent in the middle of my grueling day, hard grinding sales job as I have, where you have to <laughs> meet your metrics, exceed expectations, and uh, meet your goals. By all means, by all stretch of means, it's certainly corporate America. You know those jobs. And, by my, and I love my job because I love the competition. I love to win. But at any rate, I got a call from her today and she connected me to a travel agent and we talked about a trip to the Philippines where I would be vacationing this year to go see a friend of mine, a really, really close friend of mine. I'll leave it at that. But at any rate, I just wanted to uh, thank her for the phone call and, and I appreciate the conversation. But I also on this channel wanted to sort of kind of convey why so many people and ordinary people want to go to places like the Philippines. It's just a different world. It's a different kind of world than what you can imagine here. I hope to stay for two to three weeks and gain the experience. Now recently I uh, met a uh, YouTuber, yes a YouTuber, who's an ordinary guy, much like myself and you as well, from Louisville, Kentucky who has actually moved to the Philippines and living his absolute best life. And I want to take a moment on my channel, 8,000 Miles Away, to uh, let you hear his experience. So hang in there with me, because I want him to tell you really how it is. Bear with me and hear his experience. Alexa, pause. Let me put this disclaimer out there. Paradise is in the eyes of the beholder. One man's trash may be one man's treasure. I can only speak for myself. From the moment I arrived in the Philippines, it was as if someone handed me a VIP card. I instantly became a high value man, even though back then I didn't know what a high value man was. The fact that some people here think that all foreigners are rich isn't a bad thing if you know how to conduct yourself. It's funny how people everywhere would treat someone with money or someone who they think has money better than someone who doesn't. My experience here has been nothing short of spectacular. I'm actually giving the benefit of the doubt here. People see something good in me rather than something bad. My money goes much further over here. It's as if I've been awakened from a nightmare, which was my old life, and stepping into my dreams, which is my new life. I found a piece of heaven, and I'm gonna hold on to it. Is it a second chance? No, I don't call it a second chance. I call it an awakening. I'm seeing life through different eyes. I found an environment where I can reach my potential. One of my favorite books is by Dorothea Brand, and it's called Wake Up and Live. 
in the book she asked the question, what would I be doing in life if it were impossible to fail? Today I can answer that question. I'm in the Philippines, living a manner of life that I never knew existed. I feel that my life has meaning and purpose and that I'm going somewhere, that everything that I'm doing is not in vain. I'm not spinning my wheels. I think differently. I act differently. It's like I'm a new creature. It's like magic. It's as if someone flipped a switch and now I'm the guy that I always dreamed of being. Eight million people can't be wrong. The Philippines is a paradise. And remember, paradise is in the eyes of the beholder. What may be one man's trash may be another man's treasure. I'm not paid to do these videos. I don't work for the Department of Tourism. But what I'm trying to do is pay it forward to give somebody some hope. This isn't a motivational speech and I'm not selling dreams. I'm not floating on some pink cloud and I'm not drunk. I'm sharing with you what has happened to me in a matter of a few short years. I went from being mentally and spiritually broke to a man on a mission. My best days lie ahead of me and there's no goal beyond my reach if I put my mind to it. Paradise is in the eyes of the beholder. Eight million people can't be wrong. The Philippines is a paradise. It turned out to be a godsend for me. Was it a second chance? No, it was an awakening. I'm seeing the world through fresh eyes. I want to throw out this challenge to the passport bros to come a little further to get you some more frequent flyer miles and come to the Philippines. Being treated like a king takes some getting used to, but if I can do it, so can you. I could spend the rest of my life on one of these lovely beaches with a lovely woman by my side and not regret one minute. The Philippines is a paradise and I'm not going anywhere soon. So thank you for stopping. So guys, I just want to say, get your passports. Get your passports. Live your best life. Life's not forever. Live your dream and know if you put your mind to it, you can go and do anything you want. Nothing is impossible. And you owe no one your happiness. So get your passports. If you don't already have it and make use of it. You have a good night. And tune in to 8,000 Miles Away, my new YouTube channel. Peace. Have a good night.